What's up, everybody? Big day. Finally secured a trailer. Heading there now. Get the Mustang. Pulled over to my amazing girlfriend's house. Gonna get worked on it tonight. Gonna miss football, but whatever. It's just a fail, kids. Nobody cares anyway. We got a lot of work to do. Probably gonna work most of the night. Hopefully, I get some sleep. Whatever it takes, we gotta have this motor and transmission out by tomorrow. Uh, possibly have somebody lined up wanting to buy it. If so, awesome, because that's gonna add to the money that we have to spend on the car or deduct from what we've already spent. Either way, more to come. All right, y'all. Um, thanks to the help of a couple Harbor Freight straps for a whopping 10 bucks. Car is loaded by my lonesome. Don't say you can't do it. You can do it. Just suck it up and get at it. Now let's make a little 15 minute trip back and uh, get around loading and get cracking. We drove it off the trailer. We're good as gold. Brand new home. Like a glove. How much room do we got to work on it? None. <laughs> Oh, that's plenty. This is how you actually work on cars, by God. Not these big fancy garages. This little bitty spot. All right, everybody. So uh, the plan was to come back and work all night. Uh, however, I work a minimum about 11 hours a day. It's freaking 90 something degrees today. And some of you are gonna say, it's, oh, it's only 90 degrees. Well, it was also like 4 million percent humidity today. Uh, and I don't even think that's really an exaggeration. It's probably like the correct humidity. Uh, so, I talked to the guy who is going to be buying some parts. He is cool with sometime next week. Uh, so that gives me a little bit of time to relax tonight. Uh, got the boys tomorrow. Uh, so they're going to help me work on the car. It's going to be awesome. We'll get lots of good video of that. I got the boys all day Saturday. We're gonna work on the car a whole lot. Make a huge mess. Gonna piss off Shay. Uh, we're gonna have a good time with it. So, we'll shoot this on YouTube and uh, we'll make some more videos tomorrow. Uh, until then everybody, see ya. All right folks, here we go. Already got the wheels off. Boys already cut bait and left me. Quitters. But they helped me get the wheels off. So, time to thrash. Motor, rear end, drive shaft, transmission, etc. All coming out now. Little at a time. Till we get it off. Alright. So, Radiator, reservoir for the power steering, battery box, every wire connected to the motor. The only thing I haven't cut loose is the uh, motor mounts, the exhaust, and the drive shaft. And I wanted to just take the motor out. I don't think I can take just the motor out. I think I'm going to take transmission and all. I only got to get to the bolts. It's, uh, it's all packed in against the firewall where I don't think I'm going to have room to get my hand in there. I'm going to give it hell though and see. Alright folks. Four 12 point 12 millimeter bolts hold on the drive shaft on the back. And uh, it's a slip yoke on the front that I've almost got off. Uh, then I got to take the cross member loose. The exhaust is still in the way. I might just unbolt the transmission from the cross member pull all this shit out. But I'm telling you what, I'm getting tired. Uh, my arms are tired. I worked all freaking day in the heat. And then it's like uh, a billion degrees and a billion percent humidity out here in the garage. Because uh, it's summer in the south. So, uh, we'll work a little more and then we'll uh, probably call it quits for the night. Alright everybody. Got a good bit done. Finally got the drive shaft out. It's uh, 
Yeah. Found a uh, couple more wires got to get loose. Uh, don't have a battery for my Sawzall, so I'm probably just going to go get one. A little cheap one from Arbor Freight. That way if I destroy it, it's only $8. Shift linkage, cross member for the transmission, and uh, some fuel lines, and this bitch is ready to come out. So, probably attack it in the morning, freaking beat. Uh, already got the lift in here and ready. Um, that's about it for the night. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share, donate. You don't have to donate. Whatever, I'll do them all. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, everybody. Next morning, gonna get right back at it. Exhaust first, probably. Uh, and some quite rusted bolts down here. We'll pull that exhaust off. We'll get the transmission linkage off. Um, any other things we can find that are kind of holding the engine in. Transmission cross member. Take those bolts out. And we'll get her lifted up and out. Put on a pallet. All right, everybody. Motor and transmission are out. Came out a lot easier than I thought it would. A little transmission fluid spillage because I don't have a ton of room. It was a little tough to make this transition right here. It's all good though. Got it out. Honestly, it was a transmission cross member bolt. Uh, two motor mount bolts and various hoses wires and plugs plus the exhaust fan uh, exhaust exhaust bolts they actually fell off they didn't even break or anything blew my mind I was expecting them to break other than that honestly it really wasn't that difficult don't say you can't do this simple hand tool that's all I have okay I do have air, air tools but they're cheapo stuff that I got from a tool outlet back in the day not even Harbor Freight so, nothing you can't do on your own, everybody. So, I'm going to keep thrashing. 